to this special multiplayer DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to try your luck in that famous hot seat and compete against your family or friends to be the first to reach the magical million pound mark and the chance, of course, to win a family holiday to Universal Mediterranean. Now, all you need is your DVD remote control. You can move around the screen and make your choices by using the up, down, left, right and enter buttons. It really couldn't be simpler. Right. If you're ready, let's play. Right, here we go. Let's go over the rules, although I'm sure you're familiar with them all by now. You are 15 correct answers away from winning a virtual million pounds. Now, as always, you can walk away at any time. And if you do get stuck, then you have the usual three lifelines. There's 50-50. You can phone a friend. Or, of course, you can ask the audience. OK, if you're ready, all you need to do now is select the number of players and we can play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, you fancy another go at winning the million? OK, best of luck. Let's play. OK, for 100 quid, here's question number one. No problems there, it's correct. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 quid. That's absolutely correct. Well played. Here's question number three. It's worth 300 pounds. Only play this if you want to. You don't have to. Congratulations, that's the right answer. Remember, a wrong answer here and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that won't happen. Question number four. That's the right answer. It's going really well so far. Now, get the next question correct and you'll leave with at least a thousand pounds. Good luck. Here comes question number five. Well played, that's correct. You've reached the first milestone, that's one thousand pounds. Now, have a look at question six, because it could double your money to two thousand. Where was Krakatoa wrongly placed in relation to Java in the title of a 1969 film? North, South, East or West? Now, are you happy for it to go orange? It's worth £2,000. Nice one, it's the correct answer. Here comes question number seven out of a possible 15. It's worth £4,000. Good luck. Who released the album So Much for the City in 2003? The Joys, The Thrills, The Kicks, The Delights. Final answer, you lose a grand if it's wrong. Congratulations, that's the right answer. OK, if you choose the right answer to the next question, you can double your money to £8,000. Let's have a look at question 8 of 15. What is the title of Madonna's debut children's novel? The Welsh Dragons, The English Roses, The Irish Shamrocks, The Scottish Thistle. Absolutely spot on. Well done. Right, the jumps are starting to get a lot bigger now. Here is question nine for a possible £16,000. In which wine region of France is saint Emilion produced? Bordeaux, Burgundy, Loire, Rome. Congratulations, that's the right answer. 
Okay, this is where the drops start to get steeper. Get the next question wrong and you lose £15,000. But get it right and you win £32,000 guaranteed. The Turner Prize is open to British artists under what age? 25, 40, 50 or 35? That's absolutely correct. Well done. Right, question number 11 is worth £64,000. You would still walk away with 32000 even if you got it wrong. But let's hope you don't. Anne Elliot is the heroine of which Jane Austen novel? Mansfield Park, Northanger Abbey, Persuasion, or Pride and Prejudice? Just relax, only play if you're sure that's what you want. That's absolutely correct, well played. Right, the next question is worth a whopping £125,000. It's number 12 of a possible 15. Take your time, it's a lot of money. What is Roseanne's surname in the US TV sitcom of the same name? Davis, Connor, Harris or Brooks? Is that your final answer? If it's wrong, you lose £32,000. Absolutely spot on. Well done. Right, now just take your time and relax. The next question is number 13 of a possible 15. If you answer and you're wrong, you drop back to 32 thousand pounds. Here's the question for a quarter of a million. Which of these Hollywood legends was once a circus acrobat? Clint Eastwood, Ava Gardner, Burt Lancaster, Bette Davis. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Well played. This is now getting very, very serious. You are just two correct answers away from winning one million pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer here, you will lose 218,000 pounds. Not good. Have a look at question number 14, but think very carefully about what you want to do. In which two subjects did Prince Harry gain A-level passes? Music and art, art and geography, media studies and IT, or English and sport? Congratulations, that's the right answer. Fantastic, you have played a brilliant game so far and now you have £500,000. But we would really like to give you one million. Take as long as you need. Here comes the million pound question. Who wrote the novel Psycho on which Alfred Hitchcock's famous film was based? Lawrence Block, Patricia Highsmith, Robert Block or Truman Capote? Well, you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead you'll be walking away with one million pounds. That's the right answer. Fantastic.
What a tremendous game. All 15 questions answered correctly. Well done. You are a virtual millionaire. Congratulations. Now, for a chance of jetting off for a fabulous holiday to Universal Mediterranea, all you have to do is write this special win code on the postcard provided and send it to us in the post. It couldn't be easier. Good luck. Well done and thank you for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire?